basically Ko's trying to break the game. I'm not trying to break the game. No, I'm, I'm just, you know, trying to, trying to figure out how this is going to work. I mean, I'm trying to break the game a little bit, but I mean, the, only the tiniest bit. Get super high mana regen? Yeah, I don't understand your keybinds. I'm playing on a controller, bud. <laughs> Why do you use your X and B keys? That makes like no sense, dude. They're not even like near each other. Level 4 Swift Recovery will make Swift give back 16 mana, double under half health. Yeah, again, not, not what I'm looking for. Not what I'm looking for. I still think that means Shift will not be castable when you're in a mana deficit. In which case, I'll just stick with what I got now. Wow, that was a big boom. I do not like that. Oh, is that this guy? Wow. Look at you go, bro. <laughs> Boom. This has gone on long enough. Be gone! Yes? Ah, oh, I see you helped clear out the rabble down here. I thank you for your effort. Yeah, I'm working on that, uh, Lichi. Yep, I think that's going to be a very big deal when we do that. The attack's getting worse. Legam will need to be informed. Okay. Before I go, Hirat is dead. I need Lagon's blessing immediately. It's very troubling. More reason I should go speak with him immediately. Don't worry, I'll handle this. Hmm. Yeah, so for my for my eagle to give me everything, I need a combined stat of 40. It's currently 23. So unfortunately, I need to really get my stats up to make that happen. But once we make that happen, that should be pretty big in terms of getting mana back. How's the game's lore? I literally skip all the dialogue. It's not bad. The voice acting is great. And uh, the lore is is definitely okay. If you like like time travel stuff, it's probably better. I'm not a huge fan of the way they do time travel. So for me, it's like, you know, it's all right. Um, but I mean, the story's, the story's fine. Yeah. Story do be fine. Uh, okay, we need to figure out where we're going to go next. We've got lots of options. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Enter Lias Tower. What is this? Is that on this map? Dang it. Dang it. Who's doing that? I didn't hear oh, no, it's over. Oh yeah, 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 it's like it's like back here. All right, hold up, we got we're going back. It's to the bottom right of where you met her. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go back and do that. I don't I don't want to miss this side quest. I could have a passive point or something, man. What happened to the Void Knight? Oh, I got destroyed by a boss. I think they have already beaten that boss on this character, so that's cool. <laughs> Architect's Tower? Man, 
girl. Okay. Forty-five necrotic resistance, bro. Forty-five. Wow. All right. We love to see it. Could we level yet? No, not yet. Got to be fifty-two for that stuff. Retrieve the books. Great. There are starting nodes in both marksman and blade dancer trees to give flat decks. Cool. Thank you. Good tip. Yeah, like I said, next time we get to a um, next time we get to a respecker, we're gonna really sit down and we're gonna respec into more decks and more uh, defense. We're really gonna sit sit down with a tree and work on it. If I if I uh, can I basically respec everything and it and like relatively easily. The trap is now throwing Caltrops out where they get hit, which is huge. So that's awesome. the net up we're gonna get um we're not really doing a slow thing so we're not gonna worry about that we're gonna go up to here so we get another point here bleed chance 100 that causes enemies to take physical damage over time and cause them to bleed each second yes and then we'll work down here to do more damage and more bleed duration and maybe get some frailty. We've got a lot of options after that we can do. We're not going to worry about this. We could go up here to do more slow. Make it so they can't dodge or anything. Yeah, we, we got we got lots of options. Lots of options. All right, let's uh, take a look here. This. This. I want that heavy bow. I don't understand why the Steam game for this or the Steam reviews for this game are mixed right now. The game had pretty terrible problems at the beginning. the The game was having some very very serious problems. Um, 
when it released. So a, a lot of that is because of that. Yeah. The servers, the servers are they are the servers still having problems? Out of curiosity, or are we are we are we good? Hello. Servers are still having problems. Oh man. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Feel for the devs. I want that movement speed stuff badly. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, uh. What I just do? Uh. Hello. We good? I think we good. We good. We good. Okay. Mm, there's some void resist. And 47 mana. Jeez, dude. 47 mana? That's like... That's a lot of mana. <laughs> uh, what do we need right now? We need Necrotic and Void. Got Void on it. Cool. Oh, just a little Necrotic. But hey, a lot of Void. Good. Void is almost there. Now we just need to get Necrotic up a little bit more. I'm going to lose some of the DPS and the, the Leech, though. Not super hey. jazzed about losing that Leech, but... That's okay. I feel like the Resists are probably a little more important. Goodbye. Okay. Let's keep moving. Wait, what? Wait, how... What the deuce? What? How do I... But my po oh. What? Fine. Okay. <clears throat> Pedro, thanks for picking up a copy of Last Epoch off of our store. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you. Got a waypoint back and run? Yeah, it's fine. I guess I'll kill more guys. I guess. I'm super mad right now. Are my Caltrops working on the net deployment? Yeah, there they go. Just making sure. I wish I could turn. Wait a second. Can I turn off the caltrops that drop at my feet? No, I can't. Dang. Yeah, I don't, I don't want them to drop at my feet. I only want them to drop where the enemies are. That was close. Why does the internet always think you are ultra mad? Because I'm curious? What do you mean? Sixty-three percent increased bow damage. What? Uh. Okay. Nineteen to. 
12, so we don't have to worry about that. Poison is currently maxed. We'd have to affix off the poison. Well, not necessarily, actually. If I just put this hat on... We just need, like, what, 10 more poison? Um... Let's see. We're at 59, so we need, what, 20... No, 7, 16? I'm so bad at math. Uh, we need 16 more to get 75. So I need one more hit. Okay, so now if I wear this, we're perfect. Okay. I definitely want this, the, the way big extra armor. What do I want to put on this? Critical Strike Avoidance? That sounds cool. Oh, I can't put that on. Bummer. Uh, we could do Dex. Whoa, okay. What? Why are you doing this? <laughs> What's going on? Um... Wow. Okay, I guess we'll wear that. <laughs> that was kind of crazy, but we'll take it. Don't really know what happened, but all right. How do you open the forge on the fly? Just tap F. He's a piece of Crit upgraded? Yeah, but I've never crit upgraded like twice in a row on stuff I wasn't even modifying. That's cool. I didn't even realize that was a thing. I thought you had to be modifying something for it to crit upgrade. How do you loot so fast? Controller feel... Dude, controller looting in this game is awesome. It feels real good. I'm glad you are safe. Were you able to you meet do need Eeth? to make good uh, loot stuff, though. Loot filters. I see. Even now, Raya's victims are burning to ash. We need to act quickly. Liath left to speak with Lagan. Did she? If we find a ship willing to take you, perhaps you can still reason with her. Just me? What about you and Grail? That would not be wise. Liath's been known to be tense. Though I see her as a friend, she will consider me as a threat. Farewell. You know what, chat? I'm going to make an executive decision. I have already fought, fought Lagan multiple times. And if I had any type of a decent memory, I would remember the fight, but I don't. So I think before we fight him, I'm going to watch a quick catch-up video. So I actually remember what I'm fighting. Like a normal person. I think that's fair. I do. Goods be with you. Yeah. Good boy. Because, I mean, I've, I've fought and killed him multiple times on other characters. I just don't remember the fight because I don't have a memory. So, you know. May I help you? Yeah. Farewell. <laughs> Need fire and light or lightning and ice resist? I maxed on both. The big, the biggest thing I'm concerned about is that I'm not going to remember one of the... Inst I remember look, uh, that he has, like, instant kill mechanics. So, I just... I don't remember what they are. So, I don't know to look for them. And, Farewell. uh... Yeah. That sucks. Hmm. The thunder calls to me. Okay, cool. Farewell. These I think, didn't I Ziz die to him? Like, to gone? Was that what he died to? The I remember seeing a, a thing of him trying to, like, log out. Eager to make it him. to the Isle of Storms. The ship is secure. Should reach the pier in no time. The Gon's temple. A beacon of light. Careful. Lagon's not used to visitors. The Isle of Storms, complete with its capricious guard. Oh, there he is. And actually, let me, you know what? Let's do this right now. Yeah, give me, give me one sec, chat. Um...
Oh, wow. Uh, do, do, do. Wow, you're I'm supposed to have like 1k life for Lagon and max elemental resists. <laughs> oh god. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Better start farming. Yeah, I know, right? Make sure the video is relatively recent. Here's four days Even ago. Even staff smashed, broken by waves, slapped by slimy tentacles, zapped and melted by some sort of Cyclops-esque Marvel move. You have died, and probably more than once to Lagan, God of the Sea, Storms, and Moon in Last Epoch. So what are you doing? Use the safe spots. You know, the ones on both the left and right side of phases one and three. Verticality is your friend, and even more so if you're playing a ranged build. The Big easiest what? move to recognize is the large circle on the ground, but you'll also notice Lagan lifts his head up very high in the screen while doing this move. The circle is going to explode, so get out of it. The Gon's right claw, which will be on the left side of the screen, is the stab, and you'll notice he rears back before plunging forward with it. Simply keep moving to avoid this attack. When Lagan's eye and front tentacles lower below the altar, he'll pop back up and do a zap. When Lagan's left claw, which will be on the right side of the screen, quickly rises up, he'll slam it down, and this ability can stun you. There's really a common theme here move to avoid damage and that's where the trouble sets in because if you aren't paying attention to where you move and when Lagan does his final ability the moonbeam the fight might end unfavorably in an instant. Lagan will slowly raise his eye and at first it'll be difficult to distinguish it from the AOE circle move however it's a bit slower and doesn't raise up quite as high. Lagan's eye will also turn red during his time and following that he'll sweep the screen in a direction with the moonbeam. You can teleport beyond this but walking through or jumping will likely result in death use the safe spots as needed, or use windows of opportunity while learning to fight. Oh. Positioning yourself in a spot that allows you to move when this ability comes is imperative. If you've trapped yourself at an edge, your chances of success plummet unless you're comfortable with mastering this move. Around 50% health, Lagan will teleport you into phase 2, and tentacles will spawn around the center of the arena. You'll need to kill these tentacles while avoiding the waves coming across the screen. It's far easier to pick one direction, whether that's clockwise or counterclockwise. If you're attempting to weave around, you'll likely get hit by far more waves. So just pick a direction and keep trying to move that way while avoiding the waves that are in your path. You'll be so chased yeah, by that, crabs that and sharks during this time, about, but overall, this is the easiest phase. Phase 3 will port you back to the altar, and all of the original abilities from Phase 1 return, with the addition of the waves that you just saw in Phase 2. At this point, standing at the far edges can help you avoid some of these waves, but be careful you don't get clipped by the moonbeam. If you're still uncomfortable with recognizing this ability, you can stand in the safe spot until the moonbeam goes by, and then you can go out and use a window of opportunity to deal damage before retreating when you think he's going to use the ability again. This fight takes practice, and it's one of those encounters that will eventually just click, and you'll start beating it consistently at that point. I don't have Lugan practice! primarily deals lightning and cold damage with some physical damage mixed in, capping these results. Okay. I think that boss is going to kill us. <laughs> um, hmm. I'm, I'm pretty sure we did. I mean, we'll see, but... Hmm. Ripko the fourth. Ripko the fourth, man. There's a talent in shift that helps you avoid the I beam. No, I'm not using shift. If Lagan doesn't kill us, I will be so pleasantly surprised. Oh my god.
It's funny because I can kind of already tell exactly how I'm gonna die too. I'm gonna I'm gonna run out of mana, find an alpha strike, and then I'm going to get stuck in an AOE. I'm not gonna be able to dodge because I'm gonna have negative mana and it's gonna like one shot. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> that's that's how I'm gonna die. Hmm? I'm final destinationing it, chat. Farewell. Probably won't even take that long. You're not wrong. It very well may not. Yep. It very well may not. Actual accurate statement. Are my resistances? Uh, we're doing okay with resistances. We're doing okay. Necrotic and Void are, well, Necrotic really at this point is just what we really need. Don't use any mana. I mean, it's it's funny you say that like as a joke, but at the same time, I could just like really be careful about mana usage on the on the fight. And that is that is absolutely an option. Not do my normal farming thing where I just destroy all my mana all the time. Maybe that's going to be the technique. It's going to be a lot slower of a fight, though. Like, a lot slower. So, I'm not... I don't know if it's going to be super advantageous. The longer that fight goes on, the more chances I'm going to get my face punched in. Yeah, exactly. Ash, Ash and Trath. It's funny you say that. I thought the exact same thing when he first said that. Yeah. Like, now I'm just going to die because I'm staring at my mana bar <laughs> and trying to manage it properly. Yep. Okay, an Imperial bow. Do we have any Imperial bow? Oh, Imperials are the ones from before. Okay. Okay. Yeah, nothing too special there. Uh... Almost 52, so we can do a little bit of extra crafting when we get that. While PoE has the league system, do you feel this game is long-term sustainability that it that it does? Is it even comparable? Oh, absolutely. In fact, this game is also doing a, I think it's mm -hmm. doing a similar to league system. So we'll probably see major Very mechanics well. get introduced with new leagues every so often. I don't know if they're gonna do it on the incredibly accelerated scale of poe i mean the the type the amount of development that poe does in the windows that it does is really really impressive so i don't know if we're going to see something like that um but i there will from the looks of it they're definitely planning on doing big updates every so often with new stuff and yeah that all that all looks good am i supposed to go this way I'm not really sure where I'm going right now. Great. All right, there's some more necrotic there. Now it's 71. Great. And then I think you... Was it you? There's one other item. It was you, I think. Let me get the 
next up. Right. So we're currently at 28 now. We need 12 more decks. If we can get 12 more decks, then one of our, our main abilities will start giving mana back when it hits, which will be potentially really big. You were told not to come here. It would be yes. wise to leave immediately. Oh. Hmm. Okay. 